Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance on the Terra ecosystem. Today's video is sponsored by Orbital Command. We're a validator on the Terra network, and we've recently set up a Discord server called Terra Invest Strategy. I'll leave a link down below. You may want to consider having a look at that if you've got questions about investing on Terra. Today's video comes out of discussions I've had with Lunaomics and from listening to his Terra Spaces podcasts. I'm going to be giving a bit of a walkthrough of what I understand his 2022 Luna investment strategy to be. Before getting into the details, it's important to go over the fundamental assumption of this strategy. And that simply is that Lunaomics believes that Luna will do a 10x over the course of 2022. If this assumption proves to be correct, we'll be able to use the increasing price of Luna to buy more Luna. So then we'll have a bigger bag of Luna that's worth even more. So what is the Lunaomics 2022 investment strategy? I'm going to be doing a borrowing walkthrough on Anchor, then discuss what Lunaomics does with the Luna and UST that he buys with his borrowed funds and then talk about different options that I might consider doing depending on my risk appetite. So my understanding of the Lunaomics 2022 investment strategy is providing BLUNA as collateral on Anchor, then borrowing up to 25% LTV and using that money to buy Luna, and then borrowing a further 20% LTV and holding that as UST. So in total, the LTV would be up at 45%. And sometimes I feel that's a little bit high for me, but I'm beginning to get used to running a slightly higher LTV. So thinking about the risks involved, this is where my LTV is on one of my wallets. I used to be a bit scared going anywhere above 40%, but at the moment I'm comfortable keeping it just under 45%. So the Lunaomics textbook strategy that he seems to be discussing in his Terra spaces is to go for the 25% Luna, 20% UST, and being a total LTV of 45%. Now, if I didn't want to go quite that high, you can see the different percentages that I might want to run while still sort of remaining true to the Lunaomics strategy. So if I really wanted to remain quite low risk, I might go for 15% Luna, 10% UST, and that would mean my total LTV would be down at 25%. So even if I'd done that when Luna was up over $100, I still wouldn't have really had to manage that loan at all, even though we've come down about 30%. At the same time, Luna is still a volatile asset, so I might think I actually want to de-risk even further, and that's possible. Lunaomics suggested that I could de-risk even further by just buying less Luna. So he suggests going for maybe 5% Luna, 25% UST, and then just putting that 25% UST into Anchor Earn to earn interest. And then if the loan ever needed paid down, I would have plenty of UST available to do that. So again, here's some different suggestions that are even lower risk than the previous ones. And even though the LTVs are exactly the same as on the previous slide, the reason this is lower risk is because I would be holding more UST so could just pay my loan down in an instant. What I'm going to do now is jump over to Anchor and just go through the procedure of borrowing and then showing you what I might want to do with those borrowed funds. So in Anchor, I'm going to have a look at borrow I've already provided my collateral and this is from just over 100 Luna. I've now got 101 B Luna exactly. And this is my collateral value. I'll just refresh the page. Okay, so there we are. So I'm gonna go for the classic Luna Omics 2022 investment strategy as I understand it. Using this collateral, I'm going to borrow at 25% and use that to buy Luna. So I'm going to go into borrow, slide it up to about 25. 
maybe add a little bit here just to get a nice round number. Okay, so bang on 25%. So that's my board amount there. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to jump over to Terra Station and then swap the UST I just borrowed for Luna. Just paste in the value that I copied. I think it's this comma that's the problem here. There we go. That all looks okay. So back in Anchor, just refresh the page and have a look at my wallet. You can see I've got this 25.16 Luna. So that's Liquid Luna just sitting in my wallet at the moment. So I'm going to push up my LTV all the way up to 45% and borrow some UST. I'm just going to borrow a fraction more. There we go. Okay, so I've borrowed $1,400. And now LTV is sitting just below 45%. All the money that I've borrowed should be sitting in my Terra Station wallet. I've got the UST and I've got the Luna, so that's perfect. If I ever needed to pay down the loan, I could just do it with the UST, and then if necessary, I could swap that Luna back into UST and pay more of my loan off. Now, because I've got that $1,400 UST, I could come over to Anchor Earn, deposit it in here, and then earn the 19.5% interest on that. So that would be quite nice. What Lunaomics has also talked about is having a look at the TerraSwap LPs. So if we have a look on CoinHall just now, just go to the pairs and then reorder the pairs. So on TerraSwap, the 70 APR is showing 61% and the 24 hour APR down at 35%. So that's a nice little boost just for having Luna and UST. I can pair them up and put them into that LP. Providing liquidity is fairly straightforward on TerraSwap. I'm going to come down here, choose provide, and the pair I want to go into is Luna UST. I'm actually going to change the top one to UST, change this one to Luna. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to pair $1,400 of UST with about the same value in Luna. I'm just going to hit provide. So I've received just under 75 LP tokens for the liquidity that I've provided. So from now on, each and every day, I should be earning a little bit of swap fees. So hopefully this position will continue to grow over time. Just to recap, I've gone over the borrowing process on Anchor, borrowing 25% to buy Luna and then a further 20% to hold as UST. And then talked about I could just hold that in my wallet or put the UST into Anchor Earn. But this time I decided to follow what Lunaomics is doing in his 2022 investment strategy and put, paired my Luna with my UST and provided liquidity on TerraSwap. I've also talked a little bit about the different sort of levels of LTV I might want to run if I wasn't really happy to go up to 45% LTV. But at the moment, I'm going to give it a try, see how I get on. If I don't sleep well at night, then maybe I will reduce my LTV a little bit. In the time it's taken to record this video, my LTV has jumped up to 46.45%. That's the highest LTV I've ever had. And one thing I just wanted to mention is that down the bottom on the borrow tab, it gives me my liquidation price. So if Luna or B Luna drops another $15 down to 52.18, dollars 
I will get liquidated. So before it gets there, I'm going to need to manage that loan. If you find this video useful, I'd appreciate you dropping a like. Just to reiterate, none of this is financial advice. It's simply me deciding to follow what Lunaomics is doing and just show you the process that I've gone through to do that. If this strategy is of interest to you, I would highly recommend following the Lunaomics podcasts available on Terra Spaces. He's doing a whole series to discuss his 2022 investment strategy. Listening just once might not be enough. Personally, what I do is just keep them on repeat till I really feel that I've understood the message, not just how to do something, but understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. Any questions and comments or criticisms, please drop them down below. In this video, I haven't talked about managing the LTV, what to do if the price of Luna shoots up or what to do if it drops. Obviously, if it drops, it's pretty obvious we have to pay back a portion of our loan so that we don't get liquidated. If you want to find out more about how to manage your LTV, definitely follow the Lunaomics podcasts. Relevant links will be down below. Thanks.